Good evening, I'm Dave Carger. Tonight on TCM, we're continuing our celebration of the 200th anniversary of Mary Shelley's novel Frankenstein, taking a look at movies with themes and characters that drew inspiration from Shelley's classic book. Up first, it's an adaptation of a novel by H.G. Wells, featuring a mad scientist whose experiments blur the lines between human and animal. From 1932, Island of Lost Souls. This chilling horror story begins when a sailor, played by Richard Arlen, is rescued and taken to a private island that's home to a scientist named Dr. Moreau. Moreau, played by Charles Lawton, seems pleasant on the surface, but behind closed doors, he conducts brutal experiments on the island's wild animals, turning them into human-like creatures that serve and fear him as a kind of god. Appearing in one of his first leading roles on screen, Lawton offers a fascinating new take on the character of the mad scientist, and Bela Lugosi, who gave an iconic performance as Dracula one year earlier, appears alongside him as one of his monstrous creations. In 1931, Lugosi resisted the offer to play the monster in Universal's adaptation of Frankenstein because he didn't think it was an interesting role. But he was more enthusiastic about this project, and he terrified audiences with his half-man, half-beast character. In fact, this film was so disturbing to critics and audiences when it premiered that several Midwestern states refused to screen it, and it was also banned in England for being, quote, against the laws of nature. From 1932, also with Lila Hyams and Kathleen Burke, Island of Lost Souls. When Boris Karloff made his first appearance as the monster in Universal's 1931 version of Frankenstein, his name was kept a secret at the start of the film, and the opening credits simply referred to him as the monster in order to heighten the mystery and the terror of his character. Similarly, the opening credits of Island of Lost Souls refer only to a character called the Panther Woman, and actress Kathleen Burke's name isn't mentioned until the end of the film. Burke made her film debut in the role of Loda the Panther Woman, and she won the part in a nationwide contest that Paramount conducted as a publicity stunt for the movie. Competitions were held in every major city in the country, but despite this Panther Woman advertising campaign, the film didn't ultimately do well at the box office, largely because audiences found it so terrifying to watch. Up next, it's another horror film from Paramount in 1932, this time a classic adaptation of a story by Robert Louis Stevenson.